Hi everyone, it's Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA. I'm going to go over the treat as function today. I think it's a, a really great addition to the DAX language. Uh, it's only been out for a, a short period, so the understanding of it is is limited out there, I believe. And even, you know, to be honest, I, I didn't even uh, spend enough time trying to understand it as well uh, until very recently uh, and when I was looking for a solution to something and, and this was the best application of the treat as function. So what we're going to just cover here is when you, when would you use it? Okay, that is that that, that is the, that is the key thing, uh, and and then I'll show you an example of where I where I have used it, um, and where you uh, you could also too. And then when you understand how it all works, uh, you could probably most likely find other areas where it could be used also. Now. Why I want to jump back to the model and why I started on the model is this is this is the reason why you would use tree tears. Now, in the past, I've done a, a few budgeting uh, demos on on enterprise DNA TV, so you you would have seen me set up models in a particular way with budgeting data because a, a big part of running budgeting analysis inside of Power BI is getting the model right. Uh, that's what confuses most people, um, and it is absolutely key. Now, treat as allows you to simplify your model somewhat. It simplifies your model, but it does, it does make your formulas a little bit more advanced. So there's a trade-off there. But if you can if you can get to a very strong understanding of treat as and the syntax required uh, when using it, then I would say it is a better option than having to reconfigure your model, especially for forecasting and budgeting data. Now, what treat as does, this is the key, the key takeaway, treat as creates virtual relationships between tables, okay? Virtual relationships between tables. It means you don't have to physically set up any relationships. You don't need any lines to join the budget data or to compare the budget data to your sales data because what you can do is you can utilize the treat as function to to make that comparison for you okay so let's have a look at a couple of examples okay and ha and how this uh, particular function works now i've created two functions here to show you two different ways um that you may need to set up your functions okay now let's just have a quick look at treat as so treat as may uh, need what you need to do is you need to place uh, some columns from one particular table or in this case I've gone uh, with with the year and then you need some uh, to incorporate some columns or column from the table or, or supporting table that has no relationships to the rest of your model in this case budgeting data year now why have I done done it this way because what the budgeting table is set up like and this is with this again the understanding of this is very very important is that my budgets for each different region that I sell in is only a yearly budget okay so we've only got yearly results here um, and this is this is important because if you use treat as and in the wrong context, you will get a result which is absolutely meaningless. So we have a yearly budget per city, right? But what I don't need to do is I don't I'm not going to draw a relationship between my regions table here, and I'm certainly not going to draw a relationship between my dates table here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the relationship within a formula um, using treat as and then place it inside of calculate. So check this out. What I can do is I can go and grab my year, right? I can go and grab my year. I can go and grab my uh, my total sales, like so. And then I can go and grab this treat as and go and get my budget and allocate it across this particular year. So I'll drag this in like so. And you'll see, and I'll just blow this up a bit you'll see via no relationship in the model, we have created a relationship between this year value and this year value in the budget. And you'll see here that the 2016 budget amount is 62 million and the um, total sales amount, which is, which is being derived from our sales table down here, is say 60, 60 million. And you'll see here it returns no result for 2015 because there is no result 
and the treat as function is making sure that nothing is actually being returned in there. Okay. Now, now that we have this here, and this is this is again, this is why it's so important to understand this function very well. Let's have a look. You see here, this column here, this is exactly the same formula. Treat as example, right? It's exactly the same formula, but you'll see that we're getting incorrect results. Why do you think that is? The reason being is the context of this calculation, right? We have 2016 here, but we have our city, we have our region, and we do not have any relationship inside. We're not creating, there's no physical or virtual relationship being created by treat as inside of this formula for the region. And so all it is doing is evaluating to the yearly number, which is 62 million. So this is where we need to expand treat as to incorporate more virtual relationships. And so this is how we do it, uh, how, this is how we expand it. And so what we can do is we can place a summarize, a summarized uh, virtual table in the first part of the treat as function that enables us to expand the columns that we want to compare or we want to build the virtual relationships between. And in this case, what we've done is I've created a virtual table of uh, the city and the year, right? So the city and the year, basically like this table I've got here, but I've done it virtually. And then what I can do is because in the budget table I have a city and I have a year, I can then virtually match these up. And so this is how you and you could do this. You could keep doing this. This is this is where uh, this is where this function comes in and and and, and really um, valuable it becomes very valuable because we can virtually create multiple relationships all at once, all within these this one formula syntax, right? And then you'll see here that this is actually breaking down. This is the results here is actually being broken down by the year and the region now. And then I could filter by that. Like so. Now, based on the data that we have, there's no additional context that we can place in here because the budget table only has a city and it only has a year. So, if we wanted to do anything more to this, we would need to change the budgeting data, um, or or um, or or add some additional logic to this particular um, to this particular uh, formula. For example, at the moment we only have budgets at a yearly basis. What if we want to break up those budgets for every single day? Well, I've showcased how to create a budget allocation formula. Well, you would use very similar logic inside of here, but instead of um, having relationships doing the filtering, you would have treat as doing the filtering inside of here. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use a treat as function. Uh, I, I think this is the this is probably this is the instance where I personally started using it in this budgeting type analysis. But there are other applications for it as well. Uh, and and really all it comes down to is you need to think. Okay, well maybe I don't want to create a physical relationship here. Maybe I just want to create a virtual one. And where that is probably most necessary is is if the dimension. Say for instance the year. The year is the is not the uh, the uh, column inside of this table at the highest level of granularity, I believe. So, for uh, I think that's the term for it. So, for instance, the date, right? This is this is the most granular number inside of this table. The year is not right. So, we never want to be drawing physical relationships from the year, regardless, because that's just not how you um, um, you always want to make your relationships from the you, the column of unique values right well in this case the year is obviously not that but what we can do is we can still create this say a dummy relationship virtually using treat as and that's where it really comes in um, really comes in in a, in a very valuable way okay I'm gonna round off things there um, hopefully this gives you some good a good intro into treat as and how do you, how you would use it in a real life application of it um, but there's, there certainly is more, okay? So as soon as you can understand the syntax, incorporate it into some sort of analysis you're doing, you know, you will understand it much uh, much clearer and you'll, you'll, your, your mind will expand in terms of the opportunities to use it elsewhere. Okay, if you like the content, certainly um, throw the video a like. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, and, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. There's plenty 
more content uh, to come out, many more tutorials and events, etc. And I really want to get those into your hands uh, as soon as possible. All the best.